hi guys welcome back in the first video we have talked about test suite keywords library variable etc let's start with writing a simple test case so here is my test case it is called generate two random number and then multiply the rent multiply the number generated from the above steps so let us write a new test case let me delete the existing thing and let's say new test suit we'll start with the new test suit say sorry i'm clicking on the wrong thing new suit that is cat test demo let me create one test new test case that is called multiply okay so i need to generate two random string and then i need to multiply so i can see that in the resource file right demo resources.txt there is a keyword called multiplication of random number it is generating two random number and then multiplying it so it is doing the same task which i need to automate as a part of my exercise so why can't we directly call this keyword in our test case so i need to call it so if i type right multi c if i am pressing control space it won't give any option because this keyword is not available to this test demo so what i need to do to make this keyword available to this i need to source this library this is resource library basically it's a collection of user defined keywords so what i need to do is i need to click on the resource and i need to source this library so you can see that this library is available to me so if anything wrong in the path this become red suppose let like i am making it wrong you can see that it become red now you can see that it's a blue so all the keywords present in the demo resources.txt is available to me in the test demo so if i press if i type initial character m u l and then i press control space then you can see that the keyword is visible multiplication of random number it's available to me if i run this okay so it's saying because since i am running it i have already put some sanity one include inclusion tag so that's why it's failing let me remove it we will talk about tag later let me save it run it so it passed what it did it generated two number and multiplication of those things took place so my test case is over so test report how about log report whether it is readable or not let's see how the log report look likes so this is the report you can see that the and the demo one i was having suit that is called test demo under that i was having the key uh, test case that is called multiply multiply again internal called a keyword from the demo resource demo resource and that is multiplication of random number you can see that it called mathsops dot generate to random number and store the return type into variable num1 and num2 then evaluated means multiplied and it is printing the value 1656 is not it a readable it's a readable right okay let's move on so this is important topic topic i am going to talk about suit setup suit tear down test setup test tear down custom setup and custom tear down suit setup is something or is some condition or certain condition that you want to execute as a part of default setting or a predefined setup basically suppose you have a 10 test case all the 10 test case is having something common that you want to be present before you actually enter into your test case and it's common to all the 10 test case hmm? and 
that step you don't want to execute again and again as a part of your test case. It is something like once you done, done. You can execute n number of test case on that setup actually. So something we need to do like precondition. Make the setup ready or make the application ready before you actually enter into your test case. So suit setup and suit teardown it always execute once. Suit setup will execute before the execution enter into the test case and it is it will execute only once. Suit teardown is something which will execute at the end of execution finish. Means once if a suit is having 10 test case, once the execution of 10 test case finish, the suit teardown will call, the keyword present in the suit teardown keyword will call and it will execute so basically people execute suit teardown as as a part of cleanup activity so you have some setup or you have application so you want you as a part of your testing you did some configuration via test case now you want to clean and you want to bring the state bank back to uh, bring the state back to desired state of the application then you are using the suit teardown now what is test setup and test teardown right test setup and test teardown is something which is executing in the beginning and the end of every test case. So, test setup is something, suppose you are having a 10 test case in a suit, then in the beginning of every test case, the test setup will execute. So, 10 test case is that, then that condition will execute 10 times and test teardown similarly will execute 10 times at the end of every test case. So, test setup is something like you want that some something you need to be executed before you you enter into that particular test case hmm? and other is custom setup and custom attack custom teardown so you can see that right demo 2 is a suit suit setup suit teardown test setup and test teardown setting is present in the at the suit level whereas only setup it is not prefixed with test or something it is present at the test level you can see that it's present at the test level so if you see that this program is having three uh, I mean this suit is having three test case for these three test cases I have specified precondition as a part of test setup display number used for execution but for the third test case sum of two number I have put set two numbers in the custom precondition custom setups so what will happen right for first two test cases display number used for execution will execute but for the third test case it the the custom setups will override the test setup and instead of test setup custom setup will execute let's see how it behaves here so you can see that in the suit setup, I am having generate two random number, so it will execute only once. It will only it will execute only once. Display test in finish. This will execute only once in the end of the test. And the test setup, I am having display number and number used for execution. This will execute beginning of every test case. But for the test case number three set two numbers is part of custom setup so this will not execute for the third test case instead this will execute let's run three test case so you can see the three test case total two pass one fail that's okay failed it's something else let's see the report how the report look like you can see that suit setup generate two random number executed only once a tear down display test finish execute only once in very first test case display number used for execution as a part of test setup it execute in the beginning of this test case then the test case execute similarly here in the beginning of test case same precondition execute and then the test step execute but the, for the third test case this was not executed instead set two number executed so i hope test Test setup, test teardown, suit setup, suit teardown, custom setup, custom teardown is cleared.